Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Here at Mad About Skin, we are dressed up, which can mean only one thing, a continuation of awards season. Honestly, I love this time of the year, where I can sit down and share with you all my favorites from the past 12 months, and just bring all that positivity. Today's the turn of Korean skincare. Honestly, in 2021, I've discovered so many amazing products and brands out of Korea that have really factor heavily now in my skincare routine. In this video, though, I really wanna hone in on the best of the best when it comes to Korean skincare products available to us here here in the West. So sit back, relax, and let's talk the best Korean skincare 2021. Now, before we get into this, there's a couple of things I want to mention. First and foremost, this is actually part of a series where I break down my favorite products by each category. I've already covered the best drugstore skincare. I'm going to leave a link to that video up there. Definitely want to check out if you want some amazing skincare outcomes, but on a budget, that truly is the video for you. This style of video takes a lot of pulling together. So if you wanted to do me and the channel a huge favor, please consider giving it a big thumbs up and a like. Whilst I don't measure my own success in life based on the number of likes I get, unfortunately, YouTube still does. And the more likes a video gets, the more likely it is that YouTube will push it out to a wider audience. I want as many, as many people as possible to join the fantastic community we've uh, created here on Mad About Skin. And giving this video a like is just one way of achieving that. Now, I think it's time we just cut the waffle and delve straight on in. And I want to start with the big prize of the night, which is the best overall Korean skincare brand. This one was easy for me because honestly, one brand above all else has captured my heart this year. And it's this one, Beauty of Joseon. I love, love, love their skincare collection so, so much. And honestly, they don't have a bad product amongst them. The price point is really affordable. Even here in the West where you obviously have to pay your import, you have to pay for the shipping, their products are still really, really well priced. They also look gorgeous. I mean, just look at that. You have that on your vanity, you walk into your bathroom and you want to reach for these products. They're so elegant, luxurious looking, but again, with that really affordable price point. I find that all of their products are super gentle, so they can be used on just about every skin type, but you get some really Really, really good results. I'm not going to call out all of my favorites because honestly they feature in the later stages of this video anyway but if you wanted to see like my full Beauty of Joseon review I'll leave a link to that video up there. Definitely one to check out because I don't think I can do the brand justice in just a small section of a video. Now with the big prize of the night out of the way let's break it down further and go to each step of our skincare routine. Of course the place to start is going to be cleansers. There are so many amazing cleansers out of the Korean market it was really hard to just focus in on my absolute favorite. I've got two honourable mentions, then I'm going to come on to my absolute favourite Korean cleanser in a second. First of the honourable mentions is this. This is the Hamish All Clean Balm. So many of you guys fangirled about this one and said how amazing it was. That's the main reason I actually tried it. And honestly, I've never looked back. This is fantastic if you have a drier skin type because it leaves a slight film on the skin, which whilst if like me, you have oily, acne prone skin, might not be the best for you. That could be an absolute saviour when it comes to drier skin because it just locks in all that hydration. You can, of course, finish this with a gel cleanse, just every last trace off, which is what I tend to do. But either way, this is a fantastic, fantastic cleanser that melts away all that dirt, debris, SPF, and truly cleans the skin without stripping and drying. Another cleansing balm that I love is from my favorite Korean skincare brand, Beauty of Joseon, which is the Radiance Cleansing Balm. This, this was already good, but they did a reformulation earlier on this year where they took out some of the potential irritants from this product, which again, has taken it from good to just outstanding. This is applicable for all skin types. It is such a luxurious, bougie, elegant feeling product. You don't need to overpay to get luxury in your skincare routine. And I think this product just demonstrates that. Of all the balms I've tried this year, this is definitely, definitely one of my absolute favorites and a ding, 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 holy grail for sure. So with those honorable mentions out of the way, let's come on to the actual best Korean cleanser of 2021, and it's this. This is the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Cleansing Gel. I love this product. I actually love this brand so much. It was definitely one of my favorite brands of this year, but this cleanser, absolutely hands down one of my favorite products from them. The reason I chose this gel cleanser above all the other ones I've tried is because of the feel and the texture it provides. It is so velvety, luxurious. It's really, really unique and difficult to describe how this feels when you first put it on the skin. Beyond just that though, this is super, super effective and I kind of find it gets off everything you need it to without actually having to do a double cleanse. If you're a little bit lazy like me and you don't want a two step cleansing process, reach for this product, gets it all off like that, doesn't leave you feeling stripped, dried, 
tight or the skin tight in any way and just gives a really nice luxurious elegant feel and a way to start your skincare routine. Now we've got the skin beautifully clean let's move on to exfoliators. I love some of the Korean exfoliators on the market because again in keeping with the Korean ethos of gentle is key a lot of the exfoliators will deliver really great benefits in the long term without stripping drying and sensitizing the skin immediately. I love 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 to go gentle. I've learned it the hard way. I used to go for the highest strength exfoliating acid on the market then I realized all that was doing was irritating my skin and actually I think preventing me getting those long-term results that I craved. There's some really great Korean exfoliators on the market and I picked my favorite three here. In terms of honorable mentions I first want to call out this. This is the Secret Key Lemon Sparkling Peeling Gel. Now a lot of these things sound a bit triggering like oh lemon in an exfoliator that's not a good thing. Sparkling oh is that not going to be a little bit harsh? Actually put all that to one side. I was just as skeptical as you guys but I tried this product and honestly I fell in love. This has a nice little quirk to it because it's got cellulose beads in there which do ball upon the skin so it kind of feels like you're removing balls of dead skin. It's not and that is a gimmick but it does give a nice feel to the product and those balls actually give an element of light manual exfoliation which is really cool on top of the um, fruit based exfoliants that are already in here. This is way more gentle than it sounds on paper and honestly I got some really really great results from it. I think this did become like a viral sensation this year. I'm pretty new to it but even after like two tubes of this I'm hooked. I would definitely definitely recommend it for people that like that element of physical exfoliation but also some really great fruit based exfoliants in there as well. I'm also going to call out this which is the My Soft Grey Mist by Ciaris. Another really great Korean skincare brand that I've been loving this year. But the reason I'm calling this is if you're looking for a physical exfoliant. If the exfoliating acids just aren't doing it for you but you're worried about the scare stories of it creating micro tears in the skin. You're worried about being too abrasive with a physical exfoliant. Reach for this product because this is so finely milled. It's a barely there physical exfoliation but honestly used consistently in the long term it delivers some really really great results. I like to mix a few um, spoonfuls of this in with my cleanser and I just find that that gives that extra slip to minimize any risk of over exfoliation but it just takes away that top layer of dead skin cells and leaves you feeling radiant and glowing to the gods. Absolutely absolutely love 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 this product. Now in terms of the best Korean exfoliator it goes to this. This is again Beauty of Joseon. You see how I've said they don't have a bad product. So many of them are my holy grail but this honestly is my favorite Korean exfoliator. This is their bubble toner. This is so innovative and different. There's nothing like it on the market. This actually bubbles up. It's got a pump and when you pump it into your hand you get a really nice bubble action which I absolutely love. Beyond just that the reason I'm calling this out of my favorite is because of the low concentration of glycolic acid. Not everybody wants to reach for a super high strength stripping glycolic acid. This actually has it in a 3% concentration which I think is absolutely perfect for giving a really nice gradual exfoliation without stripping, drying and sensitizing the skin. If you're really scared and intimidated by the sound of an exfoliating acid, reach for this product because it'll do everything you want it to with zero irritation and also it's got that nice element of gimmicky in terms of those bubble action which pop when they hit the skin. It just gives a really nice fresh uplifting feel. Total, total holy grail. Now let's come on to the Korean essences and toners. Honestly, this was the hardest category for me to decide on because I think the Korean skincare market has become synonymous with really good and effective essences and toners. There is so much to choose from. This category could, could like have 10, 20 different recommendations in it, but I did hold it into my favorite three, two honorable mentions and my absolute favorite. In terms of the honorable mentions, first and foremost, I'm calling out this. This is the Haru Haru Black Rice Hyaluronic Toner. This actually featured in that drugstore favorites video that I referenced earlier. And the reason is this is super inexpensive yet super super effective. I wanted to mention it again in this video because it's just so so good. A real Korean skincare favorite. This combines hyaluronic acid with other humectants, hydrating botanicals and ferments and just leaves the skin feeling beautifully hydrated, super soft with zero irritation and it comes at a really affordable price point. Definitely definitely one that I would recommend and fell so so much in love with this year. I want to call out this product which is the Soul Sister Beauty Fresh Skin Facial Mist. That's a whole mouthful but honestly this is such a gorgeous product. First and foremost the look attracted to me. I just think it looks so expensive and luxurious but honestly it's not a break the bank price either. This has a really beautiful mist on it and it's got some really nice calming botanicals with panthenol which is going to calm and soothe the skin. It also leaves a really nice meaningful level of hydration. You can keep this in the fridge or in summer if you sometimes get a bit hot and flustered pop this in your purse and then on those a little bit hot and sweaty moments just give the face a really nice spritz and a mist 
this. Honestly, it will calm everything down, bring back that equilibrium, and one of my absolute favourites this year. In pole position, and the winner of the best Korean essence or toner has to go to this. This is the Isntreat Green Tea Fresh Toner. I know, I probably bored everyone with mentioning this product this year, but this is a true ride or die favourite of mine. The reason I love this is I have super oily, acne prone skin, and if you're looking for something that's going to mattify the skin a little bit without stripping and drying and irritating it, this is the product for you. It's packed full of powerful antioxidants, but it also just helps to balance the oil levels in the skin. I would say this could be your saviour if you have combination skin, and some areas are oily, some areas are dry. Just use a little bit of this swiped over those excess oil producing areas, and honestly, it just brings back that equilibrium and is such, such a great product. I absolutely fell in love with this product this year, and I know it's going to be coming with me in my skincare routine for 2022. Now we've got the skin cleansed, exfoliated, hydrated, and calmed with those gorgeous essences. Now let's move on to the serum step. In truth, I haven't tried a lot of Korean serums. That's not because I don't think there are great ones out there, but I've always focused my attention on those toners and essences where I think the real hype and the benefit is. However, there are some really great Korean um, serums that I've discovered this year. And again, I've got two honorable mentions and my favorite to share with you. In terms of those honorable mentions, I'm going to give a shout out to this. This is the Be Plain Seekerful Ampule. Fantastic if you have very sensitive skin because this will just calm everything down. It'll also give a really nice level of hydration hydration and I find when I use this it's when I need to balance the skin's pH. If I've done a harsh exfoliation or a vitamin C and I want to then add something to balance and neutralize everything before I move on to say like my pH sensitive peptides, this is one of my favorite products to use. Calms, soothes, balances, absolutely fantastic. I honestly don't think I could get through this video without mentioning this which is the Nature Mucin Serum because honestly I fangirled about this so much in 2021. This is a really nice plant-based vegan alternative to the snail mucin, the snail secret that's so popular in Korea. If the idea of applying snail slime to your skin freaks you out a little bit like it does me, I don't like the texture, it's just not the right ingredient for me, this could be a really nice plant-based alternative. It looks really luxurious, but again, a really, really affordable price point. It's really accessible here in the West. It hydrates you, it calms you, it adds some really great long-term benefits as well. I definitely know when I use this every single day in my skincare routine, the fine lines and wrinkles that I have seem a little bit more shallow and smoothed out. So it's definitely got those long-term benefits rather than just those short-term gains. It is gorgeous, gorgeous on the skin. And again, it sinks in without a trace. So if you've been a little bit put off by the terms snail, mucin, and secretion, you don't need to miss out on all the great benefits. Just reach for this product instead. Now, a big drum roll, please, for what I think is the best Korean skincare serum of the year. And it goes to this. This is the Madagascar Centella Ampule by Skin 1004. This took the world by storm this year. They actually did a whole lot of sponsorships and things with content creators here on YouTube. They never reached out to me, but I'm not bitter. I'm still holding this up to be the very, very best Korean skincare serum of the year. I love this. Whilst there were a lot of people fangirling about it in sponsored videos, which left a lot of people thinking, mm, is this true or are they just paid to say that? I can tell you, no, hands down, all that praise was absolutely justified because this is such a gorgeous product. This mixes my favorite, favorite Korean ingredient, which which is Centella Asiatica in a really high concentration. It's a fantastic, fantastic um, serum to just calm, soothe, hydrate, and address any like redness uh, that you might have in the skin. This is a product for you. Also, whilst it's not super expensive, look how luxurious it looks, how elegant, expensive. This is like a really nice gift idea that you could give to people without offending them because it's not targeted at any specific skin concern, but it also looks way more expensive than what you have to pay for it. Hands down, my favorite Korean serum of the year. Now, I feel like we're in the final stretch, but let's be honest, no skincare routine is complete without a fantastic moisturizer and SPF to finish everything off. And those are the two categories I want to come on to now. Let's start with moisturizers. I've got two honorable mentions before I then come on to the award winner. And the first of them is this. This is the iUnique Centella Calming Gel Cream. I love this product. And whilst a lot of people might use this almost like a serum, for someone like me that has super oily skin, this is all the hydration you need. In truth, this won't cut it if you have very dry or combination dry skin. But for those oily folk out there, this is fantastic. It calms, it soothes, it also leaves a really nice level of hydration behind. You can layer it and put multiple layers on if you want additional hydration, but I find that just one light layer of this after the rest of my routine locks everything in place and leaves me hydrated to the gods. Total, total fangirl moment for that product. In terms of those that have a drier skin type, I would definitely recommend this. This is the Cosrx Ultimate Nourishing Rice Overnight Mask. Now, whilst it's called an overnight mask, 
mask. I actually would use this in the morning as a standard moisturiser. Very rich, very occlusive. But again, I find it sinks in without leaving too much of that mask-like feel to the skin. I really, really like this. And whilst it is a little bit too nourishing and hydrating for my skin type, this could be a fantastic option for people with very dry or combination dry skin. Cosrx don't feature that heavily in today's video because I'm not a huge fan of the brand overall. I captured my reasons why in a recent video, which I'll link up there. Definitely one to check out. But even if I don't like a brand, I'm happy to call out their amazing products where I think they can help add value to your skincare routine. And this is definitely one of those products. Now, the big old drum roll for the best Korean moisturizer goes hands down to this. This is V Green, a brand which has already got a mention in the serum category, but this is their daily moisture cream. So, so good. Again, vegan for people living a plant-based lifestyle. But beyond just that, this is like, oh, everyone's go-to moisturizer success. I love, love, love the feel of it on the skin. Sinks in without a trace, but of all the really light moisturizers I've ever found, this is the one that gives the most hydration. This is gonna be perfect for people with oily skin, combination skin, or even combination dry skin. Everyone bar those with super dry skin type can benefit from this. Sinks in without a trace. It cools, it soothes, it hydrates you to the gods, and is hands down my go-to summer moisturizer at the moment. Finally, let's talk Korean sunscreens. I know that the sunscreen market was probably what first attracted a lot of us to the Korean skincare world. That's because they often offered formulations that were really lightweight, elegant to the touch. Of course, there's been a whole lot of drama going on with the Korean sunscreen scandal, which I think left a lot of people feeling cold. Obviously, we've now moved on from that 12, 18 months ago, and we're seeing a lot of Korean brands now release their data and their testing, proving how effective their sunscreens are. I applaud this level of transparency, and I think it's a Fortunately, we had to have a scandal to get to this point. But honestly, if some good comes out of it, I'm living for that. And there are some really great Korean sunscreens on the market. I recently captured my favorite Korean sunscreens that are tried, tested, and verified in a recent video, which I'm going to link up there. The reason for linking that video is because I actually just want to do away with all the honorable mentions and focus down just on the award winner in this category, which is this. This is the Make Prem UV Defense Meat Fluid. Honestly, zero competition. I probably used eight bottles of this this year and it is my current ride or die best skincare friend. This is so, so good. It feels light and elegant on the skin, but it's also got such a nice level of hydration that you can probably get away without having to need a moisturizer before this, it, particularly if you're like me, you have super oily skin. It doesn't leave too much of a white cast on the skin, especially if you're my skin tone or fairer, and it's a hybrid sunscreen. Best of both worlds, you've got the chemical and the mineral UV filters. In here, you've also got ceramides and panthenol, which are going to boost the barrier function of the skin, calm and soothe everything. And I just think it's a really nice combination of sun protection and skincare in one product. As you can see how it goes onto the skin, it's so luxurious. It leaves a really nice velvety finish to the skin. And if you use this, you know every day is going to be a good skin day. It leaves the barest, barest trace of dewiness. So it's not that dead pan matte that some people really, really like to avoid. But equally, it's not super glossy and dewy. I mean, it's just applicable to all skin types. Types, and honestly, it's hands down my favorite from the Korean market. So there you have it, guys, the Korean Skincare Awards. I would love, love, love to know any of your personal favorites that I haven't mentioned in this video. So sound off in the comment section below. Is there anything that you want to share your thoughts and feelings that's been mentioned in today's video? I'd love to hear it. And if you do want to make a purchase of any of the products mentioned today, I've left some links for your convenience in the description box. Wherever you are in the world, guys, stay safe, stay well, and love your skin. Take care. Bye.